Global War 36 enthusiast here with a review of Axis and Allies Board Gaming's hand-painted miniatures. There is a very talented artist named Greg. Uh, he has a website that I'll put the link to in the description below. Um, his pieces are really exquisite. Um, they are pricey, so what I do is for uh, pre birthday or Christmas presents, family members of mine send me uh, money, and then I use that to purchase these beautiful, uh, particularly naval units. That's where I, I feel like Greg really excels at aircraft and naval units. Um, my sister for Christmas sent me, um, basically bought me these, the next 10 ships I'm gonna show you. So let me do a review. These are six uh, heavy cruisers for Great Britain. And each one is beautifully done uh, and then labeled, tells you the name of the ship on the bottom. Let's see, are they all, I should go with this. Uh, this side would be better for you to see. You can see the name of the heavy cruiser. Each one's individually named. Uh, it turns out this is the country class, and it tells you the year the ship was created. So, like this one's uh, 19 Cornwall, 1928, uh, Devonshire, Devonshire's 1929, etc. Um, and then I have some battleships. Or actually, this is this is a battle cruiser. This is the hood. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit for for these next uh, ships. So this is the hood, and you can you can see the detailing that he's done. Um, it's it's really fine work. Here is the King George V and its sister ship, the War Spite. I love that you can see the lifeboats there. And then one of my favorites is the Rodney. Very unique uh, forward turrets only uh, battleship. So I, I'm very grateful to my sister for my Christmas present. That, that, that was these 10 ships that I just showed you. What I really uh, admire about Greg's work is the uh, way that he magnetizes. He, he doesn't just glue on a magnet to the bottom of the planes. He drills out uh, a, a little bit to make it perfectly even and then puts in a small magnet there and he even paints that over. You, you can tell his attention to detail because he doesn't just paint the top of the plane. He also even paints the bottom of the, of the plane. Um, and then you can, you can m match these two carriers. And I, Greg, I think now, that, that I think this is the first time that he did a heavy carrier with three magnets underneath for version four of Global War 36. So you can, you can have four aircraft on the, on the carrier there. I should get another, steal another fighter from uh, our current game. You can see what that looks like. So that's really cool that you, you can get heavy carriers and you can just see the, the really nice work that he does Atten tremendous attention to detail. He will do custom work for you. Um, let me, I should have had this prepared, but just thinking about it on the fly here, I'd, I'd like to show you what he did for America. I asked him to do custom work on jets and uh, I'll show you, he, he made me some of these. Uh, whoops, that's not on camera. How about that? Okay. Just look at that. Look at that jet. Um, I sent him a picture of a World War II painting scheme. Uh, or I guess it, it was actually maybe Korean War. Um, again, you can see how he, how he does the magnets. Just really stunning work. I, I can recommend him without hesitation. 
this is the Yamato. So um, this could be a battleship or, or a heavy battleship. And then recently I, I got the Shinano. Um, look, at, look at the size difference between those two. But if you're looking, uh, if, if money is no object, or if uh, someone has, is asking you what you want for your birthday, consider uh, asking for some gift certificates to Access Now as Board Gaming. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I highly recommend his work. Tip my hat to you, Greg.